let us look at the weighted union rule that is applied to union operations or disjoint sets to make the operation efficient. Though the simple union algorithm has a time complexity of O of 1, which is better time complexity, but this simple union algorithm does not perform well in certain cases. Let us consider the case where we have five elements and each element is in a different disjoint set. So here we have five trees consisting of single element, which is the root node. Let us store these nodes in the parent array known as P. Now, since we have five elements, the size of the array will be five. The index of the array P will represent each element and the value stored at that index will represent the parent of that element. Now, since each element is in a disjoint set, therefore, the value stored at all the indices for array P will be negative 1, since each element is a root of its disjoint set. Let us perform the sequence of union operations by first using the simple union algorithm on the disjoint set containing element 1 and the disjoint set containing element 2. So, we will call the simple union algorithm and pass 1 for parameter i and pass 2 for parameter j. The algorithm has the statement p of i assigned j and here we have i as 1 and j as 2. So, p of 1 is assigned value 2 and 2 is stored in the array p at index 1. Therefore, node 2 becomes the parent of node 1. Then, let us perform the second sequence of union operation using the simple union algorithm, passing 2 for parameter i and passing 3 for parameter j. The algorithm has the statement p of i assigned j and here we have i as 2 and j as 3. So, p of 2 is assigned value 3 and 3 is stored in array p at index 2. Therefore, node 3 becomes the parent of node 2. Then, let us perform the next sequence of union operation using the simple union algorithm passing 3 for parameter i and passing 4 for parameter j. The algorithm has the statement p of i assigned j and here we have i as 3 and j as 4. So, p of 3 is assigned value 4 and 4 is stored in the array p at index 3. Therefore, node 4 becomes the parent of node 3. Then, let us perform the next sequence of union operation using the simple union algorithm passing 4 for parameter i and passing 5 for parameter j. The algorithm has the statement p of i assigned j and here we have i as 4 and j as 5. So, p of 4 is assigned value 5 and 5 is stored in array p at index 4. Therefore, node 5 becomes the parent of node 4. Now, Suppose we have n number of disjoint sets consisting of single element and if we perform the sequence of union operations in this way, then we will have a tree that will have the height as n and such trees are not feasible because of its height. Even though the simple union algorithm takes constant time, that is O of 1, but since the sequence of union operations on n disjoint sets consisting of single elements is performed n times. Therefore, these sequence of union operations will be taking O of n as the time complexity. So, simple union algorithm doesn't perform well in certain cases. To improve the performance of simple union algorithm, we have to make sure that the tree generated by the union operation will be of minimum height. Therefore, to achieve this, we make the use of the weighting rule for the union operation. The weighting rule states that if the number of nodes in tree i is less than the number of nodes in tree j, then we make the root of tree j as the parent of tree i. Otherwise, we make the root of tree i as the parent of tree j. To demonstrate the union operation using the weighting rule, we will consider two disjoint sets. The disjoint set S1 with the element 1 as the root and the elements 2, 4 and 6 as its children. And another disjoint set S2 with the element 3 as the root and the elements 5 and 7 as its children. Now let us look at the union operation on disjoint sets S1 and S2 using the weighting rule. The weighting rule states that if the number of nodes in the tree S1 
is more than the number of nodes in tree S2, then we make the root of tree S1 the parent of tree S2. So, in this case, the tree S1 has 4 nodes and the tree S2 has 3 nodes. That is, the number of nodes in tree S1 is more than the number of nodes in tree S2. Therefore, we make the root of tree S1 as the parent of tree S2. So, this is how the union operation using the weighting rule is performed on disjoint sets. Let us look at another example. We will consider two disjoint sets. The disjoint set S1 with the element 1 as the root and the elements 5 and 7 as its children. And another disjoint set S2 with the element 3 as the root and the elements 2, 4 and 6 as its children. Now let us look at the union operation on disjoint sets S1 and S2 using the weighting rule. The weighting rule states that if the number of nodes in the tree S1 is more than the number of nodes in tree S2, then we make the root of tree S1 the parent of tree S2. Otherwise, we make the root of tree S2 as the parent of tree S1. So in this case, the tree S1 has 3 nodes and the tree S2 has 4 nodes. That is, the number of nodes in tree S2 is more than the number of nodes in tree S1. Therefore, we make the root of tree S2 as the parent of tree S1. So, this is how the union operation using the weighting rule is performed on disjoint sets. Now, before we look at the weighted union algorithm, we will represent these trees of disjoint sets S1 and S2 using the parent array where the index of the array represents the nodes of the trees. So, since the total number of elements in the two disjoint sets is 7, so we will have the parent array or array P of 7 elements. Now, we know that if the node is the root node, then we will store negative 1 as its parent in the array. And if the node is not the root node, then we will store the parent node in the array. So, for the disjoint set S1, Node 1 is the root node. Therefore, we will store negative 1 at index 1 in the array. Then we have node 2 and its parent is node 1. So we will store 1 at index 2. Then we have node 4 and its parent is node 1. So we will store 1 at index 4. And for node 6, we have node 1 as its parent. So we will store 1 at index 6. Then for the disjoint set S2, Node 3 is the root node. Therefore, we will store negative 1 at index 3 in the array. Then we have a node 5 and its parent is node 3. So we will store 3 at index 5. And for node 7, we have node 3 as its parent. So we will store 3 at index 7. Now to apply the weighting rule, we need to know how many nodes are in the trees. To do this, we can maintain the count of the number of nodes in the root of the tree because the root of the tree is always identified by negative sign in the array. For example, here we have negative 1 at index 1. So node 1 is the root of the disjoint tree as well as we have negative 1 at index 3. So node 3 is also the root of the disjoint tree. Then if you observe, all the other nodes are represented by a positive value. So we can maintain the count of the number of nodes in the root as a negative value. Now since the tree of the disjoint set S1 has 4 nodes and its root is node 1, therefore instead of storing negative 1 at index 1 in the array, we will store negative 4, where 4 means the count or the number of nodes in the tree S1 and the negative sign means it's the root of the tree S1. In the same way, the tree of the disjoint set S2 has 3 nodes and its root is node 3. Therefore, instead of storing negative 1 at index 3 in the array, we will store negative 3, where 3 means the count or the number of nodes in tree S2 and negative sign means it's the root node of the tree S2. So this is how we can maintain the count of the number of nodes of the tree in the array represented by the root as a negative value. Now let us look at the union algorithm using the weighting rule on disjoint sets. We will call this algorithm as weighted union and this algorithm will take the same parameters as the simple union that is i and j where i and j represents 
the roots of the two disjoint trees. Now, the first statement we will have is to compute the total number of nodes in the tree after the union operation is performed. So, we will have the first statement within the algorithm as temp is assigned p of i plus p of j. Now, since i and j are the roots of the disjoint sets, so p of i and p of j contains counts as negative numbers. And adding negative numbers will give us the total number of nodes in the tree after the union operation is performed and is stored in temp variable. Then, to perform the weighted union operation, we need to know the number of nodes in each tree. So, we will have the if statement with the condition p of i greater than p of j. Now, if this is true, that is, p of i is greater than p of j, that means tree i has less number of nodes than tree j, because p of i and p of j contains negative values. And according to the weighting rule, we have to make root of tree j as the parent of tree i. So, within the if block, we will have the statement as p of i assigned j. That means, make j as the parent of i. Once this is done, we need to update the count in the root of j, that is, p of j. Because after union operation is performed, the number of nodes in the tree changes. We already have the updated count stored in temp variable through the first statement. So, we will have the statement as p of j assigned temp. So, if the number of nodes in p of i is less than p of j, then we make j as the parent of i and update the count in root of j. But suppose if p of i greater than p of j is false, that means tree i has more number of nodes than tree j, then we have to make root of tree i as the parent of tree j. So, we will have the else block and within the else block, we will have the statement as p of j assigned i. That means make i as the parent of j. Once this is done, we need to update the count in root of i, that is p of i. Because after union operation is performed, the number of nodes in the tree changes. We already have the updated count stored in temp variable through the first statement. So, we will have the statement as p of i assigned temp. So, if the number of nodes in p of i is more than p of j, then we make i as the parent of j and update the count in the root of i. And this is the weighted union algorithm. Let us look at how this works. Here, we have trees representing disjoint sets S1 and S2 stored in an array. We will perform weighted union on disjoint set S1 and S2. So, we will call the weighted union algorithm and pass the parameter i as 1 because root of S1 is 1 and pass the parameter j as 3 because root of S2 is 3. Then, the first statement in the algorithm is temp assigned p of i plus p of j. Here, we have i as 1 and j as 3. So, we have p of 1 plus p of 3, which is negative 4 plus negative 3, which will give us negative 7. So, negative 7 is stored in the temp variable. Then, we have the if statement with the condition p of i greater than p of j. So, we have p of 1 greater than p of 3 since i is 1 and j is 3. So, p of i greater than p of 3 is negative 4 greater than negative 3. And negative 4 greater than negative 3 is false. Therefore, the if block will not be executed and the else block will be executed. Within the else block, we have the statement as p of j assigned i. Here, p of j is p of 3 which is assigned i which is 1. So, in the array, we store 1 at index 3. Then, we have the statement as p of i assigned 10. Here, p of i is p of 1 since i is 1, which is assigned 10 and here temp is negative 7. So, negative 7 will be assigned to p of 1 and stored at index 1 in the array. So, this way, the weighted union algorithm works by making node 1 as the parent of node 3 and updating the count at index 1. So, this is the weighted union algorithm and this is how 
union operation is performed using weighting rule. Now let us look at the time complexity of the weighted union algorithm. You can observe that all the statements are primitive statements and the if structure will execute if the condition is true, otherwise the else structure will execute. Therefore, since all the statements are primitive and takes constant time, the overall time complexity of the weighted union algorithm is O of 1. So this is all about the weighted union algorithm and the union operation that is performed using weighting rule.